In this video, we're going to see how we can print our drawings, our technical drawings in LibreCAD. So the first thing we can do always is to have a print preview right here. And then we're going to see also how we can set up other really important settings. Now, I want to close this file here. And I'm going to open up uh, another one that I already created just to show you some final touches that you can do. So I'm going to open this one here. So you can see that here I've used some fillings here for the these parts or hatches. So you can fill an area if you want to like represent a section. In this case, this is the part where the, the wall is um, divided. It's, um, we have a section. So you can represent that thickness of the wall with a hatch and it's going to look better. And also we're going to see how we can set up the layers for the print. So the, the width of the various layers. And also we can copy our first drawing here many times. If you want to do like drawings with multiple scales and also in this case I've created three copies because this is like the before and this is a, like a demolition right here. I represented a demolition of walls. And this is like the, the final result, the end result. So this one here is a section or a pros uh, well, an elevation. You can do that. So I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks and then proceed to the to the printing part. So let's go back to the to the drawing that we left from the previous video. So we have had it here like dimensions everywhere and refined. We we added some furniture and things. And well, you can also do better, of course. You can fill everything here with all the different furniture, piece of furniture. So um, to create a section or elevation view, I need to use these lines. So I can create a simple line starting from here. And I, I would create a new layer or use just uh, one of the, the ones that I have. For example, here I can use the this one here but I would change here to make it really visible. So let's make this like a dot line and yellow. So it's really visible. And you can choose here, let's pick for example, the, the intersection. Well, you can just click there and hold shift key so you can go straight up. And this is gonna be the first line that we will need to create the elevation. Now you can choose anything here. You can just choose a, a simple line. I'm just doing this to do something different. Then I will go forward with this one here. So this will be the thickness of the wall. And proceed here, I'm gonna have an interior wall right here. And so on. So right now I'm using the free snap in combination with the snap on entity and the snap intersection and also the shift key to click and push it straight. So this is a good combination for me, but you can choose any combination of snaps that you think is the best for you. So I've, I found out that this one here is good for, for doing what I'm doing. Okay, so I have all the lines. So I will now just create uh, the, the, the floor in an elevation view. So I'm gonna use, again, the simple line, but this time I'm gonna use the, the wall layer. So uh, well, let's say that I want to do it here. Uh, I'm going to activate also the, the snap to the grid. Let's deactivate the intersection. So yeah, I can use this one here. Or, well, it's not important like where you place it. You can always move it later. Now you can see it's always this dashed line. So I want to change that. Let's go up here and say by layer, by layer, by layer. And right click and let's start all over. And so this is going to be, let's make it perfectly horizontal. And there you go. That's the first line. Now I need to double up this line. You can offset and you need like 30 centimeters for a floor or a pavement. So I'm going to go here and do an offset and click on that line and just press enter and set up the distance here to be 30 centimeters. So this is gonna be my pavement. And now I need to close it. And for this, I can just use the endpoints 
this one here and unlock the horizontal and this one here. So we have the this nice payment. Now since I want to fill this up to make it more visible, I want to change this and so I will select everything and make it a polyline. So create polyline from existing segment. Always use polylines because it's, it's better, but I will show you why also in just a minute. So I just want to copy this to make also the, the roof. So I want to do really something simple. So I just want to copy this, move and copy. And copy this, you can just, if you know what your units are, you can count. So let me just get rid of some of this stuff. And well, let's place it somewhere right here. It's not really important, but could should be like three meters high. And let's keep the original. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's too it's too low, so I wanna move it a little bit higher. And again, you can measure this if you want. I'm just doing something real quick. And let's lock this horizontally. Okay, yeah, this is a little bit better. So if I need to create the walls now, I just use the yellow lines that I have imported, that I have um, like projected. There you go. So this one here is going to be that. And let's use the intersection here. So I'm going to get that. Hold the, hold the shift key. It's going that direction. So let's lock vertical. So you always need to find what, what's going to be your combination. Sometimes you need to switch rapidly on and off to find the, the correct snaps. But once you find it, it's going to be really fast. OK, so this is like a quick representation of my section. So if I would represent my section right here, it well, let me use the dimensions. It would be something like something like this. So like that, so it could be something straight. And you can represent the section by using something like I don't know, it, it's always up to you how you want to represent things. And let's use freehand again, free snap. So it could be like something like this. Okay, so this will be like your section AA and so on. I can, I can take these two and just mirror into the middle point, snap middle and don't know really what it is. So let me just uncheck the others and uncheck this. There you go. So and hold shift. Let's do this straight and keep the original. Okay, so this will be like a representation of this section. And then I can get rid of these points. So everything is nice and clean. So in the, the same way, I can do other section and I can just create more. And uh, well, of course, you have like more advanced software to do this, like Beam software, like Revit and Archicad would be faster to create the 2D, the 3D, and also a lot of sections and elevations. But this is open source, it's free, and we need to work a little bit more. And one other thing I can do is to create a block using the entire apartment here. If I want to create more copies, more like variables. So if I just gonna go here and let's go to the to the block creation. Okay, so this could be our insertion point and we can call these uh, before. Okay. And then we can just do another one. So we can just create another one and we can just explode this right away and we can explode. So I can like create more views using the same drawing. So let's create another one, another block. I'm gonna call these 